Welcome to another edition of BCTD Now, your source of weekly building trades, news and information. Road construction and bridge work on opposite ends of the country are making news this week, the first in Massachusetts on Route I-93. The work is being done on the weekends and so far hasn't disrupted traffic one minute longer than planned. In fact, all roads have reopened to traffic hours ahead of schedule. As of July 19th, nine of the 14 bridges which make up the job have been completed and have met and in most cases exceeded all deadlines and benchmarks, making national headlines as the U.S. Department of Transportation has made it a model project. You want to talk about productivity and value? In Los Angeles, residents prepared for Carmageddon, a planned 53-hour shutdown of I-405 for bridge work. California BCTD members not only finished on time, they finished some 17 hours early, completing all the work in just two-thirds the time. And if they'd been late, their contractor would have had to pay $72,000 for every hour the project was over schedule. The AFL-CIO's Housing Investment Trust is pumping some serious capital into the market, committing $70 million worth of union pension funds to help finance a $105 million job in San Francisco, creating 600 construction jobs, building 326 rental units. What's more, this job helped the HIT surpass its goal of creating 10,000 jobs through its Construction Jobs Initiative, totaling more than 30 projects, all in all, and $1.8 billion worth of development activity. Federal Transportation Administration head Peter Rogoff has asked local and state governments receiving federal funds for construction to make use of PLAs whenever possible, pursuant to the Obama executive order. There's a $270 million job in Sacramento receiving federal funding, and our competition went on record last week saying Rogoff's message was excessive, that he stepped above the White House and that it goes against California's competitive bidding law. PLAs are market-based tools for project efficiencies, and if federal money is being used for projects, such as the project in question in Sacramento, to assure on-time, on-budget, local-hired workforce construction, making use of a PLA whenever possible makes good business sense. If it works for Toyota and for Walmart, it'll work for Sacramento. And any contractor can bid on jobs with a PLA, period. That's it for this edition. Thanks for your time. Visit us on Facebook and see what BCTD President Mark Ayers is saying on Twitter. His handle, at BCTD Prez. Check it out today, and we'll see you next week.